And the difference between white spruce and black spruce cones are the cone size. Uh, white spruce cones are going to be like fingers. Look, they're long, skinny, and as you can tell, the black spruce are like nuggets, like the end of a thumb. Some are smaller, like a nail. The coloring also is going to be different. Black spruce are deep purple when they are just starting to ripen, and white spruce are going to be a like a green color. Um, when they ripen, they'll t turn like a tan color, the white spruce. Black spruce cones will be ready in October all the way through the winter months. And white spruce um, are ready in August and the window there's maybe a couple weeks depending on the weather. So these black um, spruce cones are closed, ripe, ready to be picked. A cone that is no longer good is one that is they're going to be like a coppery color and they're going to be where opened and they look swollen like because they will open and close the seeds dropped out of this one this is not good you can tell they're quite a bit of difference and they're dry and brittly and these are very hard pick your cones you want to pick them clean with no green you do not want them to be like this the reason for picking clean without the green on them is because when they go through the ovens, they clog the machines that do the drying of the cones. So you would like it to be like the single cone, no green on it. Pick clean, no green. So when you're ready to turn your cones in, um, it's a good idea to have a burlap sack like so, or a cardboard box is another good idea, but you really don't want to keep them in plastic in a bucket or a plastic bag. That's kind of a no-no. You want them to be able to breathe. So some of the items you'll need when you're picking will be rubber gloves, um, insulated gloves once the weather gets a bit colder. Um, you'll need some pruning shears so you can clip those green tags off. Um, some of the branches will be higher up. You want to take just what you need from behind the cones where they stop with the loppers. You can use a little bucket I like to put a strap on it so it's comfortable when you're picking like so on your neck. And you could use a cone bag. This is handy. And then when you transport your cones, you would need to put in something breathable, a burlap sack or a cardboard box, whatnot.